Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome into Brian's Badass Reviews. We're doing a little remodeling in the Brian's Badass Reviews headquarters here, or my house. Redoing the bathroom, getting out the old generic kind of tub shower and putting in a walk-in shower. Kind of go along with that, we wanted to get rid of the bathroom door because we're worried about the way that it opens, smashing into the new glass doors. So I thought to myself, what, what, would, uh, what would Chip and Joanna Gaines do? And I thought, they probably put in a sliding barn door, and I thought that'd be an awesome idea. So I went into the old interwebs there, and I got one of these uh, Naughty Pine barn doors from Home Depot. Looks real nice on the website, but I didn't read the small print, and it showed up in a box like this. So I'm pretty sure that a full slab barn door is not gonna fit in a box like this. Here's my foot, just for some perspective. I was expecting it to show up more like that. We're gonna have to assemble this bad boy. So I'm probably gonna pour myself a couple beers and then uh, figure out how we assemble this thing. And uh, let's get this bad boy put together. Let's do it. Hopefully it works out. Kick the intro. We got the box open, got the contents kind of out, got the main slabs out. I was actually kind of surprised. It smells very nice, smells like it's fresh stained. Panels themselves are actually very light. I had read some reviews where some of the boards were warped. I've also read some reviews that the actual K cut, the design on the door, that the boards are a little short. I guess we will find out. So far, so good. I found one little ding on one of the panels, but I'm not too concerned about it. I can fix that pretty quick. I'm guessing that this box right here probably has all of the hanging hardware in it. So just to kind of show you what we're working with here, it looks like we got some tongue and groove action going on here for the door panels themselves. A couple of the side slabs there. And just so you can see under here on the, uh, I guess they call them kind of the K-board, you can see that there are pre-drilled holes for the assembly. Hence that big bag of screws that I showed you guys earlier. I don't think it's going to be too tough to put the door together. I'm just worried about the actual mounting of everything. Let's open up this mounting hardware and see what we got in here. All right, this looks like the rail that we attach above the door frame. I had bought extra handles because I didn't think it came with it, but that's cool. And here is going to be the rollers. This looks like the wall guides and the stop to uh, help it from bouncing off the track. Here's your screws and stuff for mounting the actual slide guide. And more rollers. And there you go. It gets mounted on the top of the door like so. Now those are not pre-drilled, so I am gonna have to pre-drill that. So I'll have to get my measurements. Let's take a look at these instructions and see if they're any good because I am fully anticipating that they're not gonna be any good at all. That's what it should look like when it's done, except uh, more color. Here it shows you everything that it comes included. They don't look so bad. It's not like uh, Ikea. So there's all the contents out of the box. Uh, let's start putting this bad boy together. I'm thinking a little hyperlapse and we'll kick some tunes. And if I run into any uh, obstacles or anything, I'll stop and we'll kind of talk through it a little bit. Right now we're just gonna work on getting the door together. Putting the whole mounting bracket up and everything, the whole sliding rail. Get there in just a second. Let's do this. <laughs> So I got the door pretty much laid out. All these slats are just tongue and groove, so they're super easy to put together. And really to my surprise, I didn't see anything warped. I don't see anything cut too short. As I kind of start screwing these in, in these pre-drilled screw holes, once I have everything lined up, I guess I'll find out if it's just a little bit short or not. But really it doesn't look like anything I can wrangle together a little bit. So my next step is I'm gonna go ahead and just start screwing these pieces together, which ultimately really hold the door together. Another kind of call out here, which I thought was pretty cool in the end, instructions it tells you to use a chainsaw to cut a groove in the bottom of the door for the floor guides but you really don't need to do that because this bottom piece already has it there. Glad I didn't have to break out the chainsaw which I thought was kind of a stupid thing anyways but you can kind of see that it creates a little bit of a groove there and that'll help you uh, once you put your floor guides on for when sliding the door back and forth on the bottom. Uh, let's start screwing this bad boy together. All right so I'm assuming 
that uh, this is the bag of screws that came with it to uh, start kind of screwing this thing together. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of get everything flushed up and I'm gonna use the mallet just to pound the sides here just to make sure that all the tongue and grooves are good together. So I put a screw in over here on this one just to kind of get it started and then I'll kind of do this corner just to get everything lined up and then I can just go across the rest of them. And I'm gonna do that down the line, so let it rip. Take a little beer break. Enjoy a couple swigs of the old beer here. Mm, damn good. So let's take a look. So here's our finished product. It looks pretty cool with the uh, black screw heads in there. There's a little bit of gap that I am uh, kind of okay with. I think it all came together pretty good and actually it looks really, really nice. That did not take long for me to kind of put that all together and uh, the next part is the part that I'm kind of dreading. I'm really hoping that the rail that you put up above the uh, door frame that the whole door slides on, I'm really hoping that that bracket lines up with the studs. That's one of the things I read in the reviews as well is that sometimes the bracket doesn't line. I don't want to put a header board is what I'm saying. I just want to go straight to the wall, hopefully line it up with the studs, but we'll find out. I'm digging it. So far, so good. All right, so right here is where the door is gonna go. So I went ahead and I actually already marked out my line going across the top here. So basically what I first did is I grabbed the old handy dandy stud finder here, marked out where the uh, studs are. Because we're getting our bathroom done, I actually had a slight advantage because as you can see, if we move in here, I can actually see where some of the studs are. So wanted to get this taken care of tonight because tomorrow they're coming and they're putting up the cement board and all that stuff for the bathroom. So I use that to my advantage, but I did have to use it to find a couple studs there. Once I found where my studs were and what I did, my door is 84 inches long. And so what I did was, is I grabbed the handy dandy tape measure and basically I measured down on each side of my door jam here. I wanna leave about a half inch on the bottom. So I measured up to about 86 and a half inches and I made a little mark on each side. Then I grabbed my level here, lined up my marks, made sure that everything there was level, and then drew my line all the way across there. And so next what I'll do, I've already held my bracket up that the door slides on. Luckily, it actually lines up perfectly with the studs that I have in the wall there. So went 86 and a half inches because the door's 84. I'm gonna leave a half inch on the bottom. So I'll put the brackets where the rollers are two inches off the top of the door. Give me a half inch on the bottom. You know, who knows? Hopefully it, it should work out, but gonna get the wifey. She's gonna help me hold the bracket up so that I can mark the holes and then we'll drill the holes. We'll get the bracket attached. Then we'll go outside. I'll put the rollers on the door, the stoppers on the door, and uh, we should be pretty close. <laughs> marked out and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drill the holes. I didn't have a 12 millimeter which is what the instructions say to use you know metric and the closest thing I have is a 7 16 which is about I think it's 11.1 millimeters so we're gonna try that maybe I'll do just a couple passes um, I'm okay with the uh, lag bolts being tight in the groove so that's kind of what we want anyway so we'll see how it goes <laughs> bolts here we're going to put one end of the bracket up and get the uh, spacers there and we'll start putting the whole deal together okay I know my lighting kind of sucks here so we're gonna put the spacer I'm just gonna put this through here like this might be good to have two people to do this might also be good to have your ratchet when you need it <laughs> just 
about like that. Um, it's not quite tight. As you can see, I can kind of move that back and forth. Little pro tip, but I did tape up the end of my ratchet just so that when I am screwing into the wall there and it gets up against that metal, it does not scratch the, uh, I don't want it to scratch the paint, I guess, on the track there. <laughs> got it up so I'm pretty happy with that so what I'm gonna do now I just want to throw the level on it make sure it's good and I'm really hoping it is because it really isn't going anywhere so whew, all right let's uh, let's see let's see what we got so there you go not too bad it could be just a hair over but I mean I'm pretty happy with that so now I'm gonna clean up this mess that I made in the room here and then we're gonna go back out in the garage and we're gonna put the hangers on the doors project is almost complete we're back out here in the garage and uh, I'm about to put the door hangers on and again the directions kind of tell you to do it a certain way do a certain way and I don't know I'm just not gonna follow them um, I'm going to I kind of got my height that I want the bar make sure you take into account the actual width of the track because it's gonna obviously be higher than the actual holes that you drilled so take that in account to your math as far as how high you want to hang the door. Um, I am going to leave, I think I said a half inch before, but I measured all the rest of the doors around the house and they give just about an inch. So I came out at 87 and 87 and a quarter, I think with the height of the track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure out here 86 and I just made kind of a little template. This card here is just kind of enough of the gap that I need. I'm gonna put it in between the wheel and the top of the door there and that'll give me a pretty decent measurement and then I'm just gonna kind of wing it from there. <laughs> So I know you can't see this, but I got two circles drawn here. My outline of where the marker is gonna go. I'm gonna do those same measurements on this side, draw my circles, and then we're gonna drill the holes. Let me show you the circles that I made here. You can kind of see them. So I kind of came the same way in on both sides. Uh, made sure this was about three and I don't know, five eighths strong. That was an inch and an eighth up. This is three, five eighths strong, inch and an eighth up. Um, got my square, made sure that the bracket was straight and then just traced out the circles. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill the holes. So I am a little bit nervous about drilling these holes for the door because, I mean, the uh, roller handle rail thingy dingy is pretty important. Uh, the directions say to use a 10 millimeter. I couldn't find a 10 millimeter drill bit to save my life, but I got a uh, 3 8 which is about a 9.5 millimeter. Hopefully, you know, make a pass, check it, maybe make another pass, and then see if I can just kind of gently tap through. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through, and I'm just going to wait for this tip to kind of poke through the bottom, and then I'm going to come through the bottom, go up, so that I'm not exploding the door on the bottom of it. So also being very careful to try to be as up and down and level as possible. <laughs> tells you to come it's got this little acorn nut on the bottom that will go right here 
So it does go through. The 3 8 does work kind of snug, which is good. Oh yeah, not bad. Let's get out of here. Covered it right up. Get your anchor. Get your washers. And then you can put those. Pretty good. So not too bad at all. Uh, we're gonna tighten those up here when we're done, but we're gonna repeat this over here on the other side. We'll get the other one hung. So pretty good. I got one hanger on. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side, and then we're gonna put the little stoppers on. It keeps it from bouncing off the track as it's going back and forth. And then we're getting really close to being able to hang this bad boy. So, woo, we're getting there. All right, well, here we go. Here is the finished product. I know you guys are probably anticipating watching me like pick up the door and kind of hang it onto the tracks. Things kind of got cracking along with the bathroom and, and there was just a lot of kind of stuff going on. So I wanted to get it finished as quickly as possible. And uh, I didn't get to film the actual hanging of the door. But literally all I did was me and the wifey just grabbed the door, brought it in here. Each of us kind of took a side and carefully set the rollers on top of the track that goes up here. And I got to tell you, I am super happy with the way it turned out. Those little tabs right there, those are the uh, stops that help it from bouncing off of the track. I actually bought these little floor guides right here because we just finished putting in these tile floors about a year ago and the last thing that I wanted to do was actually drill into the floor and that's the way that the uh, floor guides came with the actual door itself. So this was pretty simple to put together. They just kind of got these knobs with these rollers. The door slides in between them just like that. So there's one on each side so that as you're sliding the door, you can see it just kind of hits like that and then there's no way for it to pop out of there and there's the other side over there one thing that i would give you guys some advice on is when you're putting your rail up make sure that you put your door stop on before you tighten up this last bolt or at least try to figure out exactly how yours is going to kind of lay out because as you can see there's the edge of my door and right there is the door stop and you'll see the hanger hit that door stop and you got to adjust it so that it fits perfectly so that it covers the door perfectly there is a little bit of a gap in between so if you're worried about the sounds that you're making i guess while you're in the bathroom that could be an issue other thing i will give you guys advice about is make sure that you're using enough spacers behind the rail so that you can clear your actual door trim when we first put the door on i didn't have enough spacers in there so the door was actually hitting against the trim here but putting the right spacers on took care of that and then here's what it looks like from the inside just kind of grab it and shut the door you can see it rolls and i was really happy that it was level didn't have any issues with that went on to the old amazon there got myself one of these locks here that you just when you're in here if you're taking a shower want a little bit of privacy don't want the kids or anybody coming in you can lock the door just like that those were super cheap i don't even think if they were like ten dollars maybe not even so i can put a link in the description below if you guys want to check uh, check those out or you can just go to your local hardware store or whatever so this is the bathroom here it's pretty much done now we're just waiting for our glass doors we have this ugly shower rod up right Right now that is the finished shower i think the last you saw in the video it was all studs and everything we painted up the walls did the trim painted up the cabinets put this new light fixture on here it came out awesome so this was a pretty cool little project the door came out awesome we're super happy how it looks in the room i hope that this video was helpful to you guys if you guys got any value out of it do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys have any questions at all about the process or anything i may have left out or if you're wondering about anything hit me up with some comments in the comment section below and i think that's gonna be a wrap guys thanks so much if you made it all the way through this video you are troopers thanks so much for sticking through the video that's all i got for this video today we will catch you guys on the next one you know what i like to say you got to be kind to each other you got to do what makes you happy that's it for me i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out peace before we go i gotta show you just this one quick thing when i was assembling the door in the garage one of our little schnauzers would get out every once in a while and you can see just the little paw print still on the door there how cute okay we're out